Foundation told us about it. This is an issue of accountability and transparency. And there should not be under any circumstances preferential treatment given to a public figure like Prince Harry. So, Lady C, big question marks over this. Do, do you think Harry potentially lied to enter the US or has he been given special treatment by his mates in the White House? So, Garen, <laughs> You've got a cold. No You've got a cold, Lady C. More than a cold. Oh, maybe Aurora can go and get me a Coke. You know, something to drink. Yes, a cola, a cola, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, and I would be very surprised if he did not falsify in some way his visa application form, because it really does ask, uh, it's quite in, 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 in depth questions about your drug taking. And it does actually, though, say, the, have you had convictions, which, of course, he's not had, or have you been charged with an offence, which he hasn't been charged with. But if I remember correctly from my own visa applications over the years, that they do actually ask if you have ever taken illegal drugs. And, of course, he <laughs> has taken them constantly over yep. the decades. And he's proud of it, Phil. He's boasting about it, Phil. So surely this is his own fault. He doesn't seem to have any respect uh, for the laws of his new country, Phil. No, he's been hoisted by his own petard, hasn't he, Dan? I mean, if he hadn't have been so open about it in the book, um, you know, the same as uh, confessing to killing 25 Taliban and going on about that, he's now now been, uh, you know, exposed for the drug taking, and it's all his own fault. You know, he probably thought it was therapeutic to talk about it, but it set a bad example to young people, and now it's all coming home to roost. And a couple of hours ago, I might have said to you that I thought he might, uh, you know, nothing would happen to him, bearing in mind we've got a Democrat in the White House and the Democrats are running the uh, running this show in California, with, when we all know which side uh, Harry and Meghan are on. But uh, now that this... Uh, group, the Heritage Foundation, are sort of getting stuck into this and the Department of Homeland Security are being a bit coy about the answers, uh, I'm starting to think he's got something to worry about. Well, Lady C, he does, doesn't he? Because at the end of the day, uh, the immigration, the Homeland Security Departments in, in the US are very strict on this type of thing, unless you are a US citizen. You know, if you are a non-US citizen, look at Nigella Lawson, you know, uh, she was banned from entering the country, actually taken off a plane uh, as a result of a newspaper story, she hadn't even admitted to drug taking. Well, absolutely. But, you know, the fact of the matter is it doesn't really matter which political party is in power. The reality is that Harry is a member of the royal family and both the Democrats and the Republicans are not going to want to antagonize the crowd. I mean, let's face that. I would be very surprised if anything happens. Uh, but I think what should happen is when Harry leaves the country, he should be denied re-entry. Mm. That's what should happen. Will it happen? I wouldn't bet good money. Well, on well that, that is interesting, Phil, because some folk, for that reason that Lady C bring up, think if this might be another reason why Harry decides not to come to the coronation. Yeah, it's kind of it's like a reverse thing, isn't it? Prince Andrew doesn't want to go to America in case he's arrested, and Harry doesn't want to come over here. Now we want him to come to the coronation, so he can't get back. I mean, we keep changing our minds. Like, I think his biggest problem is if he's still taking drugs. Um, you know, if he goes to a party or some other social scene, and you get the impression he might well be still taking them, that's when he could get into trouble. If he goes, if someone sets him up, and takes a photo of him doing something silly, I think it could be a big problem for him. But uh, I don't think he's going to be arrested. I don't, I don't think anything's going to happen to him. But I think there is danger in the future if he if he keeps taking drugs. Well, Lady C, the other day he was boasting about drugs again in that public therapy session. He seems to be proud of them. He doesn't seem to actually have any understanding. Uh, that drugs cause misery for the people who he claims to care about. You know, the impoverished people around the world, uh, the, the young kids who are dragged into crime through county line gangs. It's, it's, it's this middle class snobbery, isn't it, of the posh drug users, Lady C? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, but Harry is a gross elitist of the highest order. You know, he doesn't really care about the people. He cares about milking his supposed love for the people so that he and Meghan can make a lot of money. I think, though, that if you stop to think about what's going on, Harry is actually in my opinion, and I've written books on the subject of, of personality disorders and addiction, Harry, in my opinion, is, is a drug addict. And he's a drug addict who is using drugs yeah. as, a, as yeah. a medicine. He, yeah. he, he's well, of course, himself. of course, he has admitted to drug use in spare. He has claimed that he is not addicted. But at the end of the day, if he's taken them over a very long period of time, who knows? Fascinating discussion. Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dem.